We had a chance recently to demo a selection of roller skis from Gen X and Sweenor. We came away with some great feedback with the help of Nordic racers from the Jackson Hole Ski Club and our Skinny Skis Ambassador Athletes. We tested the V2XL98SL with an aluminum shaft, the V2XL98R with a composite shaft, the V2XL125, the Sweenor Skate Elite, and due to availability, we are only able to try one pair of classic skis, the Sweenor Fiberglass Classic. Things that we were considering were the perceived speed of the ski, the stability and overall control, and an on-snow-like feel. The majority of our roller ski testers are currently using smaller wheel aluminum shaft skate roller skis, and most felt that the V298s and the Sweenor Elites were a little tippy on the first try, but everyone became more comfortable with the narrower wheels in a short time. Between the V298s and the Sweenor Elites, most felt the V298Rs with the composite shaft to be the more stable. The camber that the Sweenor skis had, they had a little give to it. Um, it feels a little bit more natural, like a real ski. Um, I felt like the, the swing weight on them was a little bit different. I kind of enjoyed the swing weight of the V2 a little bit more. By the end of our testing, most skiers preferred the Sweenor Elite skate or the V298R again with the composite shaft, for the best ski-like feel. The V298SL aluminum shaft was found to be the fastest roller ski, which is most likely due to its construction. As there is less flex in the aluminum shaft than the composite model, it probably translates to more energy going to forward momentum. The V2XL125s were by far the most stable and also the slowest of all the skis tested. We had two testers, both fairly new to roller skiing, that preferred the 125s for reasons of speed, stability, and general control. One of these testers is a competitive master skier and accomplished endurance athlete, so by no means should the 125s be considered a roller ski just for beginners. I've uh, always uh, really liked the 125 from V2. Super classic ski. It's just um, got a nice pneumatic wheel, so it just takes the, the vibration out of the ride. It should be mentioned that the roller skis used were mounted for a variety of boot sizes, and what can be considered as the balance point was slightly different on each pair of skis. Since this can affect the perceived weight, we felt that there wasn't much reason to consider swing weight in this review. We did find that wheels that have the same speed rating to be quite different in actual speed during side-by-side -side testing. Road conditions, skier weight, and shaft materials also play a major role in roller ski speed. It's ski. I like how it has a real on-snow feel with its camber. It's definitely noticeable compared to a pro ski, which is more, a lot more rigid. Um, they track nicely and uh, Overall, just feel light on your feet. Nice. I liked, uh, really liked the way that the classic sweeners felt. They have a little, just a nice give to them. Feels a little bit more like classic skiing. A little bit more like double pole, even though yeah, it's not like more striding or anything here. But really yeah. natural. By the end of our testing, it became clear that there was not one roller ski that stood out from the others as a favorite. They all performed well, and certain features such as speed or feel were seen as either a pro or con depending on the skier. In short, regardless of which roller ski you might choose, it will provide a skate ski-like feel and do the job of getting you in shape for the coming winter.